The use of remote methods in qualitative research became a necessity during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now the use of remote methods is a choice, guidelines have been created to help researchers make decisions about whether and when to use them, whilst considering data quality, inclusivity and the experience of participants. The guidance was developed by a team of researchers through three stages. These were informed by a diverse group of public contributors. The research showed that remote methods can make research more accessible and inclusive, but they can also create barriers to participation, so it's important to choose the best method for participants' needs and prepare them for remote data collection. The QRDC guidance is organised into sections, linked to decision-making stages in the research process. To see the full guidance, visit the website. How might researchers use the QRDC guidance to study social care and disability? A researcher is designing a study about the experiences of social care amongst people with different disabilities. They are considering remote methods to reach more participants and maximise inclusivity. After reading the guidance, they learn that remote methods may improve access for some disabled people, but exclude others. To understand participants' needs, the researcher reads they may need to consult with accessibility experts or advocacy groups who work with disabled people. The researcher also reads that disabled people are more likely to be digitally excluded due to socio-economic and political disadvantage, but support, like equipment and training, can increase inclusivity. The researcher needs to allocate appropriate budget and time to supporting participants. For example, people with learning differences may need a supporting adult to help them access the technology. They also learn that they must consider rapport, as this can be harder to achieve and maintain remotely. The guidance gives them information on different aspects of the research exchange and how they might be impacted by remote methods. Let's explore how the QRDC guidance could be used for a remote study of health management in resource-constrained settings. A researcher is planning a study with people living in resource-constrained settings about managing their health. Remote data collection will overcome barriers such as travel, but the researcher is concerned it will prevent them from taking detailed field notes about contextual information, such as descriptions of participants' homes, that can produce a richer understanding of their lives. Reading the guidance, they realise that many of the functions of field notes can still be achieved remotely. For example, asking participants about their location and supplementing this with information from other sources. The researcher also reads about the importance of considering inclusivity, reciprocity and power differences. Remote methods can be more inclusive by enabling participation from people who would have found the researcher's presence intrusive and participants have more control, for example, over how much they share about their environment. This is particularly important for marginalised communities and sensitive topics. Lastly, the researcher reads about reciprocity and rapport building and considers what personal information they will share about themselves. For example, if they use video interviews, where they will physically be to conduct the interviews and how much of their surroundings they will make visible. If you would like to explore what the use of remote methods could mean for your own qualitative research project, please follow the link to access the guidance in full.